Importantly, look at the state. Oh my god. Of this. They're drunk. Floor. Look at the absolute state of their hideout here. Look at the filth. Men think it's okay to live like this. Looks at husband's desk. Don't look at the desk. <laughs> Don't look at the desk. Look at the screen only. What a fucking dump, huh? It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare in here. Let's see, where should we begin this session? Saw some interesting things in Sadanine. And now I would like to take you elsewhere. To elsewhere? Not to elsewhere. Aww. <laughs> we're gonna follow the coastline. Um, have you ever seen this guy before? Nope. Okay, well, we're not looking at him today. Uh -huh. Um, apparently I've been over here. Some things are dead. <laughs> I wanted to show you some things up the coast here. Mm. Oh my god, you're jumping real far. It's supposed to be. What's this? A cloth sack. 100 gold in a tree stump. Huh. What, you're not gonna take it? No, I don't need it. Oh. I'm so rich. I've been obsessively checking every tree stump mm -hmm. since I did my lighthouse video. And I've found quite a few little stashes. Oh, yeah? That one I've never seen before. That was a new one. Little There's a barrel? Cool, cool little shipwreck here. It ran aground, obviously. Um, nice little detail on these barrels is that they're moving. I just like the fact that the barrels are moving because most objects in this game don't move. Mm -hmm. So it's very pleasant. Mm hmm. I'm not going to take you through this shipwreck, but it's a lot like the previous one where there's not really anything noteworthy in there mm -hmm. and there's nothing in that log. So the location we find ourselves at is the end of the Odai River. You can see on the map mm -hmm. here. We know exactly where we are. You know, the water is pretty clear for like a swamp. <laughs> it's just so crystal clear. Yeah, it's like Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. This ain't Hawaii, this is like... There's a shipwreck right over there, and then if you go over here, you'll never believe it, but there is a... Oh, there's a box. A trapped chest. Oh my. Oh. It has loot in it. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you that. There it is. That the door? door. There's a mysterious door here. And if you go in the yeah, door... Samzy. Ugh. This now, is scary don't, man. Don't, I'm scared. There's nothing scary in particular about this particular man. I'm scared. <laughs> now, don't worry, dear viewer and dear wife, because I've turned off AI. They can't oh. see us. Oh, uh, he's floating. The scary man can't see us. He looks... The scary elf can't see us. It looks like... But rest assured, if AI was enabled, they would be attacking us right now. Okay? okay? They're very, very hostile. Trust me, I've done this before. It's no good. That's why I turned AI off. Whew. While we still can. Uh, so, anyway, we're in the, their cave that they are in. And there's nothing over here. Just a bunch of racks. I wish I lived in a cave. Yeah. Instead, I live in a stupid house. Well, yeah. That's because you're an idiot. With a couch. Okay, so as we enter the main cave chamber, there's some boats here. Hmm? What do you need a boat in a cave for? Well, what clues about these men can we gather from the presence of the boats? They're pirates. They might be pirates. I think I agree with you. Arr. 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 Yeah. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. So we have a nice arr. fire. Which is good because it warms their cave. Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty big chamber. I think they're going to need more fire to yeah. warm it. Looks like they're going to need more wood. Too. Now, what would they be using this bucket for? Mm, pee bucket. Do you think they pee and poop in it? or <laughs> And then dump it in the fire. Or do they take it on their little boats and they use it to bail out water if they take on water? Hmm. It's a well, pretty small bucket. I can't answer that question. Only these mm -hmm. men. But they're not cooperative. I swear to God, if I turned on AI, they would attack. They would not talk. Immediately. Oh my God. So, <laughs> oh, so at the entrance, we had a red guard and a dark elf. And here we have an imperial. Okay. Okay. And then up here, we have another dark elf. Very diverse group. Very diverse. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. And you might even say it's man and myrrh living in harmony, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's wholesome. <laughs> but importantly, look at the state 
Oh my god. Of this they're drunk floor. Look at the absolute state of their hideout here. Look at the filth. Men think it's okay to live like this. Looks at husband's desk. Don't look at the desk. <laughs> Don't look at the desk. Look at the screen only. So anyway, uh, what a what a fucking dump, huh? <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare in here. Just thought that was worth got, pointing um, out. Um, what's the dark elf drink? Shigarma. Mazda. They have a lot of Mazda. There was a drink featured in Soulstime in the Skyrim DLC, yeah. and it was like a SH Shame. name. No, it was something else. I want to say shawarma. <gasps> I don't know. Sh sh shigormi. Shigormi. Sh Sujama. 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 Yep. Shigormi. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, Shugama, and, er, wait. Sugama. Su, su, Sujama. 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 And Mazte. Anyway, in their little crates here, they've got moon sugar. Base. These are drug men. And there's nice little unlock scrolls. Those are useful. Unlock these nuts. And they have their oars, their boat oars. Just, what's the thought process here? They, they bring their boats in. And then they bring their oars all the way up here, and then they trash the place. They were they were so drunk they wanted to whack each other. They might have been having like an oar fight, yeah, <laughs> a drunken oar competition. So but where's could, the other oar? Well, there's one here. Oh, oh, oh I see. Okay. And then one over here. Yeah, yeah. There should be four though. There ought to be four. Votes. Maybe we can find the rest of them yeah. if we look with our eyeballs. Below oh. their drinking area is where they sleep. They have two hammocks to share. Mm. Four men. Oh, but two probably stay on watch. I would hope they so. They probably go, yeah. What do you think? Do they do one elf and one man sleep at a time? Or do they do racial sleeping scheduling? If it were me, I'd do one of each at a time. Yep, that'd be fair, wouldn't it? But I'm not a pirate. No. And then they have a nice Am little I? rack here where they're tanning some leather, I guess? Or is that just a I little... I think it's a privacy screen. little privacy screen? Is that they want their is? privacy. They want their privacy yeah. in their little crime cave? Yeah. Okay. Let's check the crates here. We got armor, clothing, and jewelry. Ooh, extravagant. Arr. Clothing and jewelry. More armor. Plants and moon sugar. Plants. Everyone's a drug addict. Oh, grief. That's the other drink. Oh. That's another one. So alcohol in this one. In that sack, we got some scuttle. Gross. And then some bottles on top sack? of the drawers. Now, these drawers, I wanted to point out. They look really nice. Very ornate. Mm -hmm. Very nice drawers nice dresser to be in your cave <laughs> well maybe maybe it was a nice one that, that they stole it must be from a boat right from a sure. ship that must be the captain's dresser from the captain's it quarters maybe, yeah. i didn't go in the boat earlier maybe we'll take a stop in the boat to oh there's another oar check it out okay so there's another oar Anyway, the dresser is so nice, and then I was imagining putting that dresser on one of these little boats. You would sink the boat. Yeah, like, that would be very difficult to make that stand up straight and not topple the boat over. The boat's mm. not that deep. It's a pretty shallow boat. Anyway, I'm just imagining the comedy, the comedy of trying to get that dresser in here. I hope it was worth it. Oh, no. puddle. Yeah, there's a little puddle. Invisible puddle. And there's a little space. Worm. Anything up here? Worm. Worm dimension. Nothing up there. It's really just what you can see here. That's their whole hideout. Let me check underneath any items that may have fallen, but I see none. Very pristine under the dock here, under the deck. And that water, though, again, it's just so clear. Isn't it beautiful? It's too clear. It's wonderful, though. It's so cozy. You can't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's invisible. I love it. Fuck it. I mean, it's fine, but it's not very realistic, if you ask me. Anyway, they've set up these privacy screens, like you pointed out. Mm -hmm. Who are they getting privacy from? And why mm -hmm. here? Why is this this guy needs his privacy to stand here? It's the whack, the, the whack off corner. The whack corner. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, more stuff in the barrels. There's quite a haul here. They really did some good crime. Telvani bag mask. <laughs> Savani Bug Musk is like a perfume, in case you didn't know. You apparently don't know. But it fortifies personality 40 points. That's a shitload. For 60 seconds. Yeah, it's enough to sweet talk your way into somebody's pants. Ew, gross. Yeah. Well, hey, things are rough here on Morrowind. We got some Shane. There it is. That's the drink, yeah. That's right. one of the drinks. So there's Shane, Grief, Sujama, and Mazte. I wonder Mazde. if there's any I'm forgetting. For dark elf drinks, that is. Very nice. 
speed potion. Sujama, there it is. Oh, cool. Your scrolls, very good loot in here. It's really quite a haul. Probably thousands and thousands of gold worth just in miscellaneous items. Brown plate. The brown plate. Weapons, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous loot. I don't think there's anything crazy in here, but some really good scrolls, a lot of alcohol, a little bit of gold. Oh yeah, Flynn. I keep forgetting. Flynn. There's so many different drinks. Hmm. It's Flynn. <laughs> Very cool. Anyway, the point is these boys have been up to a lot of crime. They've obviously stolen a fair share of merchandise, probably from a boat, considering that they have boats. They're little pirate men. Yeah. Am I right? I would I would think so. Do you agree? Okay. Yeah. Pretty cute. It is pretty cute. They think they can get away with it. But they'll get theirs. They'll get caught. Yeah. What old criminals do you know? Old bandits. Have you ever seen one? Well... They'd probably retire at some point. Have you ever seen a grandpa bandit? No, I suppose. Let's leave the cave now. Uh, let's take a quick peek at that boat that I think that they stole. I think they did it. Oh, yeah. Because it's real nearby. Right. And they could just paddle their little boats right there and then hop over into their cave and get away with it. Yeah. Okay. Captain's quarters, totally stripped. There's a bottle and a table, and that's it. There was probably a nice dresser in here before. Hmm. That's what I think. And then underneath, see, it's pretty much, everything's pretty much gone. Yeah. They left some moon sugar, though. Hmm. Very strange behavior. I think there's a couple items of value down here, but really, they did pretty good work. There's a small chest with diamonds. Oh. That's a pretty big oversight, I'd say. Uh, whoever, whoever, if it wasn't them, whoever stole stuff, really ought to take in those diamonds. And we've got a little skeleton man, of course. Oh yeah, and then four ash statues. That's spooky. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, that's about it. It's not that interesting. Why did we even come in here? Okay, so an alternative theory. Here's the little bandit cave. So if you look, if you just look right over there. Oh. What is that? Looks like a sail. That looks like a sail, doesn't it? Attached to a boat? Attached to a boat. So maybe they're doing this a lot. Oh, and what's this? Another sail. What? How many Attached boats? to yet another boat, too I many believe. Boats. Aha. Those are intact boats. Intact boats. Let's go to the intact boat. Oh, yeah. Before we go into the boat, let's go into here. Oh. Have you ever seen one of these? It's an ancestral tomb. Anyway, if you use your unlock it's been a while. spell. So I wanted to point out that this door is locked. That's, it's not that unusual, but it is considering that this place looks like it's been knocked over. Oh. There's urns on the ground. Hmm, it's not very nice. There's urns tipped over, urn on the ground. And yet, there's a beautiful, exclusive Fortify Strength potion. So if someone stole the valuables from this crypt, why would they leave that very expensive potion? That is a question for another day, because we have to move on. Continuing in to this tomb. We come into this little room, and, um... Sound, there's a bunch of animal sounds. Well, it's spooky sounds, is what it is. Well, that sounds like a bunch of creatures. No, it's spirits. Oh. It's spooky. It's, spooky it's, spirit. It's, it's quite scary. Spooky spirit sounds? There's these braziers here that are lit. So who's been in here? Who's been lighting these? Probably a tombs a, a keeper. A tombsman? A tombs keeper? Tombsman? It's possible. I, that's one of the questions I want to I wanna know. My theory is that maybe the family who to whom this crypt belongs mm. sends somebody, like they send Uncle Gerald in here to light all the torches and you know sweep up a little bit yeah once in a while and then he goes god damn it it's been raided again oh uh, you finally locked it yeah maybe he locked it he got a lock anyway so there's the shrine of saint veloth here and you can donate 35 gold and receive a blessing there's a shrine like this in every single family tomb as far as i know mm -hmm. so you can donate money i want to know who gets that money does the family get it does uncle gerald come and pick it up later does yeah. the family buy this shrine and get it blessed by the temple and then they collect donations from adventurers and then donate the proceeds to the temple that would be nice is that what happens someone in the comments please tell me yeah that would be interesting i want to, to know. know uh so anyway you can get all these different um little perks from it you can get cured and you can get little blessings that's nice yeah. 
The magic sound in this game is funny. As we come into this little room, it's looking real run down in here. There's a big spider web. Uncle Things Gerald. Are, shit is knocked over. I haven't been here for a while. This banner fell down or was torn down from oh. its little holder here. And there's a spider web in the corner. And there's spirit noises. I bet they're angry that someone fucked their shit. Maybe. Well, let's continue. Mm. Now, I'm scared. Now, there's urns dumped into a pile of ashes here. That's weird. Um, there's spooky skull candles, which are extremely... Scary. Extremely scary. Oh. And then there's a little chest with a shitty two gold value ring. And there's frost salts. More spooks. I'm scared. The spirits are increasing. Yeah. Oh my god, there's one there's right there. There's a scroll of invisibility. Oh my god. And then there's a scamp! But first, there's ectoplasm on the floor. How'd Ew, that get there? Someone peed. A ghost peed. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a little scampy. Let's take a little scamp selfie. Is that... <laughs> he goes... Is that where the sound is coming from? From him? No. <laughs> He's going... Is the other sound a ghost? <laughs> So, and then, okay. as we get in here, look, the door is propped open with a rock. Okay. That's highly unusual. Normally you would, you know, open the door. Yeah. But it's propped open. Hmm. You can't even close it. And then there's going to be a ghost. And then there's a ghost. No, there's no ghost in here. Just very loud spirit sounds. Um, but there is an emerald on the ground right next to an urn. And then if you run over here, there's another emerald on the ground right next to an urn. And there's a book. There is a book. What's the book? Well, let's read the book. What? Shall we? We're not reading the book. Uh. And that chest has nothing in it. Based. Rude. There's a couple little golds on the ground. Oh, there's a little trail of gold. Mm, to the chest with nothing in it. There's a little trail of gold pieces. Mm. Huh. Cute. Very detailed. Good thing I noticed. Mm -hmm. hmm. So then the book. You wanted. Oh, look, there's more gold trail. Gold trail. The gold pieces want us to follow them and they lead us here. And then there's a book. 36 Lessons of Vivek Sermon 28. Yes. Huh. Well. The ending of the words is Alm CV. What'd you think of that book? Was that good? Uh, it was interesting. It was retarded. <laughs> oh. It's almost like it was written by a Bethesda employee who was doing a lot of drugs. Yeah, they probably did do a lot of drugs. Well, my understanding is he did. Who, Todd? No, uh, Michael Kirkbride. Oh, oh. So, I just also, before we leave, I just want to point out the ceiling is like a giant upside-down bathtub. Hmm, take a bath. Yep. Ceiling bath. Hmm. Goodbye, Scampy. Oh, yeah, my theory was that maybe, um... This place was not robbed. Maybe the scamp was just going ape shit in here. And maybe the scamp is like a protector. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, yeah, exactly. So, like, did the family, did they hire that scamp to protect <laughs> their tomb here? Hire the scamp. Because usually there's ghosts, and I assume the ghosts are like the family members. Mm -hmm. And then the player comes in and kills them. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. But this time it's just a scamp. And there's a little pile of goo, ectoplasm on the ground. Maybe the scamp killed the ghost. It's certainly possible. Something horrible happened in there. Yeah, sad. Okay, well that was illuminating uh, in many ways. Let's yeah. check this log here. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Mm -hmm. But I do want to take you on this boat real quick, if you don't mind. That would be fun. Um, this is a Nord boat, as you can see. Mm -hmm. This is Velfred the Outlaw. Cool. Good friend of mine. Bald. Yeah. Huh. Looks kind of familiar. He does. This is my good friend Ilfhild. She's a good babe. With really bad hair and a huge forehead. Well. She has like a sex head. She has a nice little pendant. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And bazongos. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I don't know. She doesn't look that bad. I think Ass likes her. 
Yeah, ass likes mommies. Mm. He has a giant ass fetish. Ew. I hope we get to learn more about that soon. Yeah. <laughs> so as you come up here, see, there, here's the boat. Yeah. It's a big sailboat. Yeah. Big old sail. Um, I guess real quick about the sails. I don't know. I'm not a boat guy, but is this enough ropes? Hmm. And what are these ropes doing? We got ropes here going up to the sail up top. I don't know what they're doing, though. And then these ropes are probably the ones that, like, turn the sail. Maybe they all turn the sail. Hmm. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like enough ropes. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe too many. I don't know. I don't know. Either. Maybe, maybe someone could tell us. Maybe we have a sailor in the audience. Yeah. Uh, I also want to point out that in addition to the big ropes, there's sticks. So you, I imagine you stand here and you put your arms out to either side and you grab these logs here, these sticks, and then you yank on them. But it looks like how is a oh, man going to yank? Fuck? How is a man going to yank a, oh. an oar that big? Those are for steering. Are they? Yeah, I feel like I've seen something like that. They're not for, like, paddling around? No. Because it's they're too big. They're really big. They're huge. I think that's for steering. And I think, yeah, someone is in the back and they maneuver them to okay. steer All right. the boat. Sure. I'm, I'm perfectly happy to accept that. I hope that's true. That's my theory. Let's go into the captain's cabin. Boop. Oh. Now, he is a Nord, as you can oh. see. And his name is Bedrier. <laughs> okay. And he has facial tattoos, but they don't seem to have held him back from finding employment. <laughs> so that's actually really cool. Now, he has a shelf up here that has two very expensive books. Bone Part 2 <laughs> and Charwich Koning Volume 1, his two favorite books in the whole world. Hmm. He has a beautiful candle, mm -hmm. triple candle, and then he has a fat blunt. <laughs> oh. You see. Huh. Just kidding. It's a piece of paper, and if you read it, there's nothing on it. Excellent. It's just there. That's cute. On his desk, he has two pieces of paper, and they are also blank, and they are also lowercase. <laughs> Paper. Isn't that fun? That's cute. Now, you know I love candles. And this candle is sexy as oh frick. It's a nice color. Look at that shit. Silver candlestick. It's red candle, though. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's, mmm, that's a candle right there. Would you frick it? I'd frick it. And then, of course, he has a bottle and a tank card. And in the tankard is nothing. That's just because he's not drinking right now. He's busy attacking you if he were turned back on. No, this guy's not hostile. Oh. He's a friend. Oh. Yeah, sorry. None of these Nords are hostile on oh, the boat Oh, that's here. good. And he has a chest, of course. I just thought that one na with the last name of Outlaw, I thought that might have been like a mean guy. No, it's just his cool reputation nickname thing. Right. All right. Anyway, in All his right. chest, he has 48 gold. Not that much. Humble. Not really that much. But hey, he's making a living. He's got a really nice chair. It's got a little butt scoop on it for his ass. Actually kind of looks uncomfortable. Yeah, that little rim at the front. Yeah. Looks like it's probably not ideal. And I feel... But the butt scoop is good. I feel you like You can put that, a pillow on it. Would that be uncomfortable? And you're right. The back of it is too straight. Fine. It's a really uncomfortable chair. And the, arm <laughs> and the armrests, the armrests what are, are those? really ridiculously high. That's insane. Yeah. Okay. I take it all back. That's a horrible chair. But it looks real fancy. Yeah, that chair sucks. Shitty chair. <laughs> However, what's not shitty is this bed. Mmm, that looks plush. Look at that bed. Now, compared to the Smelter Overseer's bed that we, <laughs> that we saw in Markarth, uh -huh. now this is a bed. That's 
I bet. That's the kind of bed he should have had if he was a rich employee of the Silverbloods. He's still not getting any action, though. This is a humble Nord sailor, and he has the most luxurious bed I've ever seen. However, he has absolutely no pillows. He's a man. He doesn't need pillows. That's true. He's a Nord man. Yeah. Really doesn't need any pillows. Now, hiding under his bed is this small stone chest, and in there, he has a bottle. It's a weird place. That's where he keeps keep his his bottle? extra bottle in a little chest his under pee his bottle. bed. It might be his pee bottle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> At the foot of the bed is a large chest made of wood this time. And that's where he keeps his little clothes uh, and one gold. Well, it's probably in his pants pocket. Yeah. I was thinking about that too. I was playing Skyrim and I was looting some wardrobes and there was gold in them. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, yeah, that's probably gold money. in the pockets. Pocket change. And he has a humble little, just a humble little candle by the bed for reading, I guess, reading his long books. Now, I wanted to point out that this man loves beds so much that his name is Bed, Bed Rear. Now, what do you see on his little feet here? I was noticing that there's nothing on them. Yeah. He likes sleeping so much in his bed that he just never... He only wears pajamas and no socks, so he can always get He's right in bed. He's wearing chainmail armor, though. Mm, cozy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's barefoot. He's going to get splinters. He's grounding. Yeah. He's one with his ship. This is his home. He's trying to relax. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back out. <laughs> oh, wait. I wanted to point out that there's a hook here. Arr. Is that for a coat or for a lantern? Or for either one. Pick your poison, baby. Okay. Now, you may be alarmed to see oh. that Velfred the Outlaw also does not wear shoes. Does our lady friend also not wear shoes? She's got what? thick boots on. Huh. Yeah. Maybe this is a... No man shoe. Her boots have little faces on them, too. Hmm. Well, that's just lovely. Well, I want to take you down below deck. Is that all right? Sure. Let's oh, go. There's another man. Of course there's another man. This is a Nord boat. There's Nords on it. He has shoes. He has nice fur boots. Mm. Very warm feet. Mm, yeah, it's cozy. And that guy's name is Sitar. He likes to sit. You see, now we have one guy who likes beds, and mm -hmm. this guy likes to sit. Mm -hmm. We're starting to understand. Mm. So over here is where they obviously sleep. Mm -hmm. But shockingly, there is an ash oh. statue underneath the bed. Oh my God. This reminds me of the movie The Lighthouse, where... Robert Pattinson has a little mermaid figurine and he likes to fuck it. Mm -hmm. So someone's fucking this little statue in my head canon. That's wrong. Yeah. Well, Wait. What? Was that one that we saw before that small? Yeah. Oh. I think so. They're so small. It might have been bigger. I, for some reason, I remember it being like... Uh, it may have been bigger because the scaling of everything in this game is very freeform. They can just make everything as big as they want. Mm. Okay. In these crates under the stairs, there's raw ebony. It's worth 200 hmm. gold per piece. And there's four pieces each in each of these crates. When I first played this game, my friend and I used the scrolls of a carrion flight to jump from Sadanine and we landed over here and then we were like trying to steal all the raw ebony, <laughs> but it was too heavy. So what we would do is um, we would put it on the ground and then take a step and then grab it and move it. And then take another step oh and grab God. it and move it. And we did that all the way to Balmora, I think. That's ridiculous. I know. But it's a good memory. Oh. Uh, so I want to point out that these hammocks are different. The ones down here are opaque, and the ones up here are transparent. Hmm. Also, how would you get up into this? How do you get up there? Like, a hammock is going to tip over if you try to grab it from the side. You need, like, your friend to yeet you up there <laughs> or something? What if you use that little box there? You stand on the box and get burned by a candle. Yeah. And then you go yeet. Just move the candle out of the way. Yeah. And then go yeet. <laughs> and then go yeet. Well, but yeah, maybe they get boosted. They must get boosted, right? That would be nice. Maybe they do a sick flip off the wall and land up there. Yeah, you know those a Small nords. detail, I have to point it out. It's not attached. Oh. Somebody fucked up. 
So let's look at these things over here. There's crates. Nothing really remarkable. There's chests with more raw ebony. Very expensive. Hmm. And then there's there's these tables. I notice these tables are attached with ropes. And there's little knots tied. Mm -hmm. And then the ropes go through the table and up to the ceiling. So isn't that just a waste of rope? What was the point of that? It's a nice little detail to notice, but... Why are they like this? It's a good question. Maybe it's to keep them in place. Like, not only oh, are yeah. they being suspended from the ceiling, but they're also being kept up against the wall. You're right, because if they were just regular tables, they might slide all around. Yeah. You're totally right. I still think they could have just bolted them to the floor, but that's neither here nor there. Now, there is a knife on the ground. Someone knocked a knife down and never picked it up. And I want to caution Bedrear and the other guy, the barefoot guys. The barefoot guys need to know that there are knives on the ground. Yeah. I'm worried about them and I want them to be safe. Now I want to point out that there's a mismatch of stools here. There's that stool and then there's that stool. <laughs> and then there's a bench that looks really rustic. A couple of those. Yeah. And also this stool, it ain't even on the ground. What the fuck? It's floating. Floating stool. It's a floating stool. Mm. Weird, right? Yeah. Now, ass can stay right there. Let's let's take <laughs> ourselves back into the rear here. I want to point out this bucket. Pee bucket. I think that's the pee and poop bucket. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> right? I think we, we got one for sure this time. Because <laughs> there's where you eat. And then you had to take a poop bucket. And then you need to take a dump. So you go right there. In the poop bucket. And, pee and, and then you put in all of the waste in those barrels. And... A fun fact is if you put some pants down there, it looks like a turd. <laughs> Ew. But it's just pants. Yoink. It was just pants. Yeah, and then the barrels, it's just like ingredients, nothing special. Mm, not a pea barrel. Innocent, regular barrels. Mm. Now let's go down even further below. Now you'll see that there is another Nord with a face tattoo. This is Hefadmir. And he is also floating. And there's a pile of spooky bones. What's mm. up with ships having piles of spooky bones in the lower hold? It's where they mm, put their enemies. Yeah, you're probably right. I wanted to mention that I noticed that these barrels and boxes are up on the side here. What's oh, up, what's that's up weird. with that? What is that? I guess it's more efficient. Use the space more efficiently, but it's very strange. They just pile them up. You can imagine them heaving them up there. Ah, more ash statues. Who no. on this ship is the devil worshiper? Yeah, they're Nords, so... I prefer to think that they are simply taking them because they're valuable. Are I mean, they? they're only worth 10 gold, but that's something. I guess. Oh, they're collector's items. So here's, uh, here's a lantern hanging on a hook. Hmm. <laughs> So, okay, so there's barrels under the stairs. How did they get there? That's my question, too. How did they get there? Oh, and they're called floating barrel. Look at that. Oh, it's moving! Oh. I didn't even notice that before. Why are they floating? Look at that! Somebody fucked up. Huh. And only one of them is a floating barrel? Yeah, the other one's a barrel, and that one's a floating barrel. <laughs> and it's doing a little wiggle. Yeah, nothing really that great in there. Weird. That is a very mysterious barrel. Okay. Well, I think that about does it for the boat. And that'll probably do it for this little noticing session. Okay, well, I want to thank you for joining me on this uh, detail discovery deep dive. And uh, a vast ye mateys. Set sail and uh, swash buck. Yeah. Yar.